Hey guys, these are timeless noted messages. So if these messages resonate with you guys, hit that like button, like, share, subscribe, you guys. So I'm gonna pull from the meditation messages first. I just got an image of Captain Hook. So that may be very significant. Somebody probably was watching Peter Pan or something here, or somebody is like a pirate, okay? Two weeks could be very significant here. twist okay there's a twist here okay number 52 could be very significant the letter g could be very significant 72 hours could be very significant here okay there's some type of twist that's happening in 72 hours here or in two weeks here this is a time frame here dragonfly energy here change transformation real self-realization mental and emotional maturity understanding a deeper meaning of life here so in 72 hours or in a two-week span here somebody is transforming here okay somebody wear glasses okay um yeah there's a transformation happening here for somebody this is about personal growth here okay open Okay, somebody needs to be open about whatever this is, this change, this transformation, because it definitely has a lot to do with personal growth here. Okay, there's some type of twist that comes with it here. I feel like this is something that is happening um, unexpectedly here for somebody here, but somebody is having a moment of self-realization here. Okay, this could be somebody who is actually working on their self here having um this self-reflection mode right now maybe they're having an enlightenment or awakening here or this is happening in 72 hours or in two weeks or this is going to be happening in two weeks and it's going to happen for 72 hours somebody is going to be learning and studying here okay somebody may be getting in like hibernation mode here they're probably not even going to notice that they're actually doing this here because this is somebody who is like in a cocoon here and they're about to, and they're about to flourish here, okay? Somebody's getting to understand, a deeper understanding of life here. The letter G is very significant here, okay? Somebody's getting a reality check here, okay? This could be somebody who's not really into spirituality or they lack spiritual growth here. I feel like somebody is about to get into their spirituality here. This is a person personal growth energy here. Yeah, I feel like somebody's intuition is heightening here, okay? And I feel like they're starting to see something. Seven of Swords energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. I feel like some somebody's intuition is heightening here. I feel like they may be in their shadow side, but I feel like somebody's starting to understand some type of deceit that's happening here, okay? I feel like somebody is finding balance in whatever this is here because I feel like they're getting some type of fast communication about something that's underhanded happening here. I feel like this... Whatever is happening in somebody's life here is something that has a lot to do with some type of sabotage, deceit, or some type of seven of swords energy here. Some type of sneaky energy here. This could be about somebody's self energy here. Um, I feel like somebody is awakening to whatever this is and it's going to cause an awakening here. Okay, if this is about yourself here, okay, you may have done something really sneaky or conniving here and it may have cause some type of wake-up call or this is about somebody else that did something to you that's causing them to have a wake-up call and grow up okay i feel like somebody is waking up six of swords five of cups high priestess in reverse here yeah i feel like queen of swords and the three of coins this is definitely about a gemini libra aquarius taurus virgo capricorn energy here Pisces Cancer. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, I feel like somebody's having a wake up call about them and their poor work ethic or something here. This is somebody who is very intelligent, very smart. I feel like right now they're being honest with themselves here. They're not growing or something here. It's time for somebody to go through an awakening here. Okay, somebody needs to not fight an awakening here, is what I'm getting here because. Something is not growing here. I feel like this is somebody who is not. They're lacking 
with their goals and their dreams. They're not putting effort into their goals and their dreams. They're, they're not putting effort into some type of commitment here. They're not motivated to work here. This is somebody who has a poor work ethic right now here. Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody's about to have a whole awakening about this because I feel like somebody is slacking here. Six of Swords energy here. I feel like this is a, de a defeat energy here. Somebody may be letting go of something or somebody is realizing that somebody is letting go of them and they're in denial about it or they're feeling guilty about it here, okay? Uh, yeah, something is not working out here. I feel like it could be somebody's energy here. Somebody needs to progress and let go of some type of tyrant energy that they have. It's not working out for them. Somebody needs to grow up. Somebody needs to change and surrender. Whatever the shadow side is that they have, it has to go. Because it's really a delusion here. Somebody, somebody needs to let go of some type of illusion of their shadow side here. Okay, I feel like somebody is very smart. But I feel like they're very close-minded. So I'm trying to get like, this is like one of these awakenings where it's, though, it's really kind of like out of this person's hand here. Because I feel like they're kind of like, they're, this is somebody who blocks their own intuition here because of their shadow side here. This is somebody who stays in their shadow side here. You see this hand pulling this person here? I feel like this is their self. This is their shadow side pulling on their hair, pulling on their energy here. They're blocking their self out. And I feel like that is being illuminated to them. I'm, I'm getting somebody is seeing a truth about their, their own ways. Three of Wands in reverse. Chariot in reverse. Page of Wands. The Star in reverse. And the Five of Pentacles. I really do think that this has a lot to do with this person realizing that people don't want to deal with them. Okay, I feel like a lot of people probably moved away from this person here or let go of this person here. And I feel like this is somebody who is starting to feel guilty about that energy here because I feel like this is somebody who is a complete tyrant. They're out of control. This is somebody who is very dark. They look at things in a very dark, twisted type of way here. It's time for a change for somebody here. Somebody needs to grow up here because... This is a lack of growth here. Somebody is not moving forward here. Sun car and a moon. This is somebody who is awakening to this, this shadow side that they have. It's an illusion here. It's straight up. It's an illusion here. And it's, this is somebody who is deceiving their self by doing this here. Okay. The letters BKT can be very significant. I feel like this is somebody. Um, this is somebody's sacral chakra and um, throat chakra is actually opening up here, and I feel like they're going through some type of change in their life here, and they were not prepared for it. Now my root chakra is tingling here. I feel like somebody is connecting here, changing and transformation here. Somebody needs to wake up out of this little illusion that they have here, okay? This little dream that they have here because they're deceiving themselves in the end here. This is a blockage here. Cherry in reverse here. This person, whoever this is, they're out of control here. And it's, it's, they're out of control for no reason here. They don't even have no type of direction here. It's, it's no motivation of them doing this here. It's not getting them anywhere. And I feel like they're getting communication about this because they're understanding a deeper meaning of life here. And it ain't about being deceptive here. Star energy in reverse here. This is somebody who constantly focused on the negative. They're a tyrant here, okay? And honestly... It's it's, 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 this is a self reading here. This is not about nobody else, but this person here. This is somebody who is realizing that they're bored of this toxic energy that they're carrying on with their self. It's causing them not to be inspired here. It's, it's causing them to not be creative about their self. And this is the change with the sacral chakra. Somebody is changing here. They're unhappy with this type of behavior here. They're bored. 
and they're feeling out in the cold with doing so here. So this is somebody who, I mean, is really out of this person's control here, honestly, because this person is not going to be able to maneuver in life or move forward with certain things in their life until they actually change here. Five could be very significant. Five, five could be very significant here. This is about a change for somebody here. Okay. Somebody needs to accept the change here. Because at the end of the day, this is somebody who is hurting their self in the end. They're not hurting nobody else but their self. So this is somebody who needs to sit back, reevaluate their life, life have the self-realization here, look at their self, go deep within their self, go through this introspection here and see what this what you need to change about yourself. Or their self. However you want to take this. Take this how it resonates here. This could be somebody else that's around you here. Okay. Seven of Swords. And the Moon again. This is somebody who deceives their self. They may, tr they may think that they actually deceive other people or they may actually they they may actually think they they be doing things that sneaky that slide towards other people or underhanded towards people but it actually get it, it gets sent right back to them once they start looking at their self in the mirror and realize they are their own problem that's when they real that's when they get into this five of cups energy here this is somebody who could be a narcissist or a sociopath here. This is somebody who likes to create circuses or they like to create problems here. They're a tyrant here. This is very deceptive here. This is somebody who deceives their self here. They hurt other people, hurt people, hurt people. This is somebody who needs to heal. It's not working out. Okay, if this is somebody who's acting like they're okay, it's not what it appears to be. This is somebody who is twisted. Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who... People are starting to see who this person really is or they're starting to see who you really are. You don't like it. You don't like how people are judging you. Okay, it's being exposed here. And that's one of the things that's helping somebody change here because they don't like how other people look at them. Somebody looks crazy. So the next two weeks is very significant here. Somebody is going through a spiritual awakening or an enlightenment here, okay? Magician and a Six of Wands. This is going to be very victorious for somebody here. Five of Wands and a Queen of Cups in reverse here. Yeah, this is this may be a challenge for somebody here, okay? This may be a challenge for somebody here because this is somebody who's used to being in this spiteful, immature, emotionally immature type of energy here. Maybe somebody don't want people to know that they're going through a, train, a change or transformation here, okay? Um, they're going through some type of emotional maturity here, okay? My root chakra is still tingling here, so yeah, I feel like somebody is worried about what other people may think about them, but all they need to worry about is how victorious and confident they need to be in this energy here. I feel like you have the control and power to change who you are. You have the control and power. You are the creator here, okay? You can manifest this on your own here. You don't need nobody to help you in this. Yeah, I feel like this is something that you are clearly invested in because you're unhappy in this energy here. You're not getting your wishes fulfilled being in this energy here in your shadow side. It's causing your intuition to be blocked. This conflict, overdoing this conflict, overdoing being unbalanced here. Yeah, I feel like you're getting an offer and I feel like you need to take it here. There is a pattern here that somebody have here and it's, it's their shadow side. Somebody needs to progress and work on healing here because they're they're 
they're depressed. Emperor in reverse. Fool. King of Wands in reverse. Four of Coins in reverse. Hangman in reverse. Judgment. Ten of Swords. Ace of Wands. Ten of Coins. Eight of Coins. The World in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. My heart chakra is tingling. Okay, somebody is heartbroken here. Ten, ten. It's like somebody is scared of this awakening here. Ten of Cups in reverse and a Ten of Wands. This is somebody who is... It, they could be a sociopath or some somebody who has like psychological issues here. This is somebody who is burdened and struggling with going through this change here. It's a major challenge for this person, but this is something that you have to do in order for change here this is somebody who is easily um influenced or they lose focus on their personal growth here emperor in reverse in the full energy here Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who is being a slacker about some type of new beginning that they're supposed to go towards here, okay? This is somebody who needs to take a leap of faith here. But they're procrastinating here. It's like, instead of them actually working on themselves here, this is definitely narcissistic type of energy here. But I feel like somebody's being narcissistic towards themselves here. They're wasting a lot of time here. Okay, this is somebody who struggles. They have power struggles or they have struggles with their emotions here. They lack discipline here. Very foolish type of energy. Very naive. Very childish type of energy here. Somebody rather go out and drink and not deal with their emotions here. This is somebody who don't know how to heal or... They don't want to heal. They like to stay stuck because they're comfortable being in a dark place. It's not healthy. Somebody's not taking action towards their personal growth here. Because it's too, it has too much, it too much involved with their emotions here. Okay. This is somebody who abuses their power here, but they're doing it to their self. They've done it. Whoever this is have done this so much. That they're doing it to their self here, okay? I'm strongly getting like somebody may be doing some type of magic on this person here. It could be this high priestess in reverse here. This is somebody else that may be going through this problem as well here. This is a mistress here or a side piece or a side chick that's doing magic on somebody here. Literally, this is Ursula energy that is aggressively doing magic on an emperor that is trying to free herself. Whoever this high priest is in reverse is, this is somebody who knows that somebody is trying to leave them and they're doing magic on them to keep them stuck. Whoever this emperor is that's trying to free themselves, they're not taking action towards somebody here. It's looking like they're trying to let somebody go because they're, they're just interested in some type of pattern here. So somebody do want to change. But there is somebody who is doing magic on them here. I mean, I can't make this up. High Priest is in reverse. Moon, the Hangman in reverse. This is this is somebody who is unhappy that somebody is moved forward, moving forward here. So they're trying to keep somebody stagnant and stuck in some type of negative pattern here. Because they know that this person will actually pay attention to them. Or they would have continue to have an affair with them if they stay in this type of energy here they don't want somebody to grow because if they grow and they awaken here they're going to detach from this person here and that defeats them this is somebody who is manipulating the fuck out of whoever this emperor or this king of wands in reverse is somebody is really trying to free themselves somebody was very naive towards somebody here who they may have had a sexual relationship with this person that they had some type of sexual relationship with backstabbed and betrayed them because they're doing something manipulative or they're doing something spiteful towards this person. 
because they know this person wants to have new passion towards a family situation here. They want to take a leap, of faith, a leap of faith towards a family. So somebody is going through a change here. And it's going to be some type of twist here. Whoever it is, high priestess in reverse is, whoever it is, dark witches. Let me continue. Eight of Pentacles in the world here. Somebody is very disappointed because somebody is still going to do what they want to do anyway here. They're still trying to sabotage somebody from actually letting them go. I'm going to pull another one here. My heart chakra is opening up. Or this is somebody's heart chakra opening up here. It's tingling. So... Seven of Wands and an Ace of Cups here. Somebody is defending themselves for their new start here, as they should here. Eight, eight of Wands and the Two of Swords in reverse here. Because they're getting some type of communication. Something is being exposed that they're probably being, um, they're probably seeing or understanding that they're under some type of spell work where somebody's trying to manipulate them or be spiteful towards them and try to manipulate them or do some magic towards them here. That is being exposed here. So somebody is going to defend themselves here. Somebody's going to stand up for herself. Somebody's going to stand up for their new beginning here, a new start or a new relationship. I honestly think that this is about somebody standing up for their new start in their life and their new beginning in their life here. Because somebody is starting to love their self more. Somebody is really dealing with a psychopath here that they're needing to escape from where they are. This person don't have no growth going in their life here, but they want somebody to stay stuck with them here. It's like they're insecure without this person. They need this person. They're out of control. Death card and a ten of cups in reverse here. Somebody is letting go a dysfunctional dynamic here, a, a dysfunctional family dynamic. Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, somebody is definitely walking away and letting go of somebody here. And I feel like somebody... It's because somebody's going through a change. One, 555 five, five could be very significant here. That is about change and transformation here. Um, somebody's definitely in their Dragonfly energy here. I feel like they're not communicating with somebody here. And I feel like somebody is feeling defeated in this energy. And it's this Queen of Cups in reverse and this High Priestess in reverse here that's doing magic and being spiteful here. This person feels backstabbed and betrayed because somebody is leaving them behind. But it's a very dysfunctional connection. It's no happiness. There's no growth. It's just sex. And I feel like this is somebody who somebody has sex with when they're drunk. They're not even awakened when they're having sex with this person. They're only sexually interested in this person here. They don't want a family with this person here. Somebody wants to take a leap, to, leap of faith towards their family. Five of swords, six of cups in reverse, seven of coins in reverse, and a two of wands here. Okay? Somebody is literally walking away. They're letting go of the past energy because they're realizing the past energy is the reason why they're having setbacks and delays and no growth in their life here. They can't manifest with this person's energy around them or they can't manifest with the past here. They're making a decision because they're making a decision. They're realizing that they're dealing with a karmic that's holding them back. I mean, I cannot make this up. It can be this. It don't matter if it's a masculine or feminine here. Emperor could be a feminine energy as well. I'm going to pull from the villains deck because I feel like somebody's dealing with a witch or they're dealing with somebody who really is um, trying to ruin their life or their new start. And maybe they ignored this about this person here. Maybe this is somebody who they thought would never do this to them. But they're doing it. They're doing it right now. Somebody is progressing and moving forward here. Healing. 
is having a fresh start here and somebody else is fucking livid about it. They're depressed. They're sad. They're crying over spilled milk because this person's so busy doing black magic. This is a very dysfunctional connection here. It's not going to continue here because I feel like somebody is completely awakened about what this person is doing here. Somebody act like they don't want to say no to somebody here or they're scared to say no to somebody here. Ten of Cups here. Knight of Wands here. Yeah, I feel like somebody is very rebellious. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo energy here. The signs that I strongly got in this reading is... Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants to feel invested in they want fairness they want to put the crown on here but they're really a bird in here and somebody feel like they need to guard their stuff from this person here somebody wants to feel important here or they want to feel special here six of cups energy here yeah this is somebody who just daydreams they have nostalgia here okay um they constantly want to have this reunion here with somebody here but it's very dysfunctional this is somebody who likes to steal. Steal energy. They want to feel... They want to get some type of praise. They want to get some type of recognition, okay? And they were very confident in doing whatever this is here. They want to feel on the throne here, okay? This is somebody who sacrifices people here. Don't sacrifice their own lovers. Just to feel on top. Somebody is like stuck with a witch or something here. Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody is wanting to wanting to invest in a relationship and somebody else is guarding herself. Four of Swords. This is somebody who wants to knock somebody off the throne because they want to be there. They want to be on the throne. Yep, this could be a third party. This is a mistress here. This is probably somebody who blocks somebody from their family situation here. Somebody is just really in the way of somebody's personal growth here because they, they know of this person to grow. They know this person is definitely not going to be with them because once this person awakens and they see the truth, it's looking like they already have. They ain't going to want their ass. Nobody want to sit there and be with a witch. They're the ones here. Yeah, I feel like somebody's progressing really fast here. Somebody was not expecting that here. Two of Wands energy here. Somebody don't give a fuck. They're moving forward here. They're taking chances. All right. Yeah, because whoever this Earth, look at this. I just thought about Captain Hook and now we got Captain Hook and the Ursula. This person, this, this high priest is in reverse and this Queen of Cups in reverse here. This is somebody who really, they lied. They like to steal. They like people, they like to steal people's destiny. They like to steal people's fortune here. They want to be on top. Ursula and Scar did the same type of things. They they tried to steal somebody's throne. This is somebody who is still going to move forward and try to steal. This is the third party here that's really jealous of somebody's position here, okay? But somebody's getting a message here. Somebody's getting communication here that somebody is really trying to delay somebody's fate or somebody's destiny here, okay? Will of Fortune here. Maleficent is in the background, okay? I mean, I, somebody needs to stand up for themselves, okay? 
But I love you guys. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Again, these are timeless noted messages. If these messages resonate with you guys, hit that like button. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Love you guys. Smooches.